This week began in spectacular fashion in terms of Turkey's stance on the Syria war, when it was in effect pushed into a U-turn by its most important ally. When officials woke up in Ankara on Monday morning, they did so to the news that the U.S. had dropped some 27 tons of arms, ammunition and medical supplies to a Syrian Kurdish group that the Turks regard as terrorists. Within hours, Ankara itself had performed a startling U-turn, giving in to U.S. and Kurdish demands to announce that it would allow Iraqi Kurdish fighters to cross over its territory to come to the relief of the besieged Syrian town of Kobani. The reason all this matters is caught up with its sensitivity in Ankara and elsewhere. Largely by virtue of the fact that it is easily visible from across the Turkish border, and images of it are broadcast by the world's media, Kobani has become the symbol of Syrian resistance to the jihadis of the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, known as ISIS. The town faces overwhelming odds in its efforts to halt ISIS's advances because the jihadis already surround it on three sides. But the battle is now so high profile, the Obama administration, which has vowed to carry out the degradation and ultimate destruction of ISIS, can barely afford to see it fall. The problem for Turkey is that the town's chief defenders are a Syrian Kurdish organization known as the PYD, who are affiliated with the PKK, a listed terrorist organization that Ankara has been battling for 30 years in a conflict that has claimed some 40,000 lives. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has proclaimed on multiple occasions that ISIS and the PKK are just as bad as each other. But in a sign of starkly different priorities, the rest of the world, particularly the U.S., see things very differently focusing above all on defeating ISIS. This is what set the stage for the strong arming of Turkey in recent days and its ultimate U-turn. No sooner did Mr. Erdogan announce that it was impossible to arm the PYD given its links to the PKK than he received a phone call from President Barack Obama announcing that the U.S. was about to do precisely that. The U.S. action left Turkey with a choice it probably never much wanted to make. Stepping back and watching the U.S. arm the Syrian Kurds it suspects or giving way on another front and allowing Iraqi Kurds to cross its territory to come to Kobani's aid. Since Ankara's relations with the Kurds of northern Iraq are much stronger than those with the defenders of Kobani, it is no surprise that in the end Turkey decided to allow the Iraqi Peshmerga to pass through its territory. But the final consequences of Turkey's U-turn are still not known. It has yet to be established when the northern Iraqi fighters will cross over to Kobani and under what terms or even if they are definitely coming. Further airdrops of weapons directly to the Kurds of Kobani are still a possibility. And the upshot is this. Kobani's fall is still a distinct possibility. The role of the Iraqi Kurds has yet to be determined. And the pressure on Turkey from Washington elsewhere may still be far from over. Daniel Dombey, Istanbul, Financial Times.